Hello, dear students. Today we will do a problem on surface tension based on the concept of capillary rise. This question is not very difficult, but it is very conceptual. You will understand a lot of things. So, let us have a look at this particular question. The question says a narrow capillary tube of radius 0.5 mm contains some water in it. Uh, there is a narrow capillary tube, the cross sectional radius is very small 0.5 mm and it contains some water in it. Here this is actually the liquid water. Uh, when the tube is held vertical, uh, the tube is held vertical and the water remains inside the tube as shown in the figure. And the water is inside this tube, uh, the water is up to the lower end and it goes up to height h inside the tube. Find the radius of curvature of the upper and lower water surfaces when the height of water column is 2 centimeter, 3 centimeter and 4 centimeter. This is the upper meniscus, you have to tell the radius of curvature of that as well as radius of curvature of the lower meniscus, lower curved surface of the water when h is 2 centimeter, when h is 3 centimeter and when h is 4 centimeter. This is the data given to you. Surface tension of water is 0 0.075 Newton per meter and contact angle of water with the capillary tube, the glass is 0 degree. Acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. So, those of you who want to give it a try, pause the video and try the question on your own. I will be out of the frame for a moment so that if you want you can take a screenshot and then you can try the question on your own. <coughs> so, the first and foremost thing uh, contact angle, the understanding of contact angle is very important. Here as you can see in the diagram, the upper surface is in touch with the tube and the tube extends well above that upper surface. So, in this particular case, the tangent to the liquid surface and tangent to the solid surface, they are in same direction which means contact angle is 0 degree. What I am saying is, if this is the meniscus, I am drawing it here separately, suppose this is the meniscus, if you draw a tangent to the liquid surface, it should go along the tangent to the uh, container wall, it should go along the tangent to the tube. So, the solid tangent, uh, tangent drawn on the solid surface and tangent to the liquid surface both are in same direction which means contact angle is 0 degree which also means if you have studied it also means that this meniscus is hemispherical, right. So, when uh, you see a picture like this the tube wall is extending well above the liquid surface in that case yes this will happen that contact angle will be 0 degree, but so will not be the case here. Actually the solid surface is not extending well beyond the liquid surface. In such case actually the contact angle has got no meaning. In this case what I am saying is that if you draw a tangent on the liquid surface and this is tangent on the solid surface, tangent on the liquid and tangent on the solid may not have exactly 0 degree angle between them. The contact angle term is meaningful only when solid surface extends well beyond the liquid surface. Here the angle of contact uh, the way it is defined is not equal to 0 degree. Aisa agar aap nahi jante kyo hota hai to kisi book ko padhiye ya fir kisi aur din mein is pe aunga par abhi sirf itni information mein aapko di hai. Aiyye dekhte hai is question ko kaise solve kar sakte hai. Uh, though we can attempt doing this question in terms of forces etc, but it is far far easier if you attempt it doing using uh, pressure instead of force. So, pressure just below the upper meniscus, what it means is uh, this is the meniscus, I wish to write pressure at this particular point just below the meniscus. So, all of you must be aware that if we have a curved liquid surface and it is uh, spherical in shape in that case pressure on concave side is always higher than pressure on convex side. 
the pressure on concave side exceeds the pressure on convex side by 2 s by r where s is the surface tension of the liquid and r is the radius of curvature of this liquid surface. So, pressure on concave side is higher than pressure on convex side. It is uh, pretty straightforward to understand this because all liquid surfaces are like a stretched membrane. They are flexible membrane kind of thing. So, if pressure is suppose this is a flexible membrane and if the pressure here and here remains same then the membrane is going to remain flat. But if you increase the pressure on this side it will get curved like this is not it. So, if the pressure is same here and here it is flat if it is a flexible membrane if you increase the pressure it is going to be like this. So, on concave side pressure is higher than convex side if you increase the pressure here then it will become like this. So, again this side will be concave having higher pressure. So, this is a common knowledge. <coughs> so, we will first calculate the pressure at this point here the pressure is atmospheric pressure right I will denote atmospheric pressure by P naught. So, at this particular point the pressure will be less than atmospheric pressure by an amount 2 s by r and one more important thing uh, as I said that uh, contact angle is 0 degree. So, isko chodi dekhi. this meniscus surface actually this menis I am talking about this I am drawing a separate diagram here this meniscus surface is hemispherical the hemispherical meniscus means the radius of curvature of this surface is same as radius of the tube. Radius of the tube is given to us and this is also the radius of curvature of this curved surface. So, radius of curvature of the curved surface is known. So, we know the pressure difference between these two sides it is 2 s by r. Here the pressure is less than pressure at this point by an amount 2 s by r. In this formula 2 s by r you should always remember that r is not necessarily the radius of the tube r is the radius of curvature of the curved liquid surface, but when contact angle is 0 degree then radius of the tube is same as radius of curvature of the meniscus right. So, pressure just below the uh, upper curved surface upper meniscus will be I am writing that pressure as P 1 it is P naught that is atmospheric pressure pressure here is atmospheric pressure minus 2 s by r is pressure here. So, I have substituted the data for s and r and it gives you atmospheric minus atmospheric pressure minus 300 Newton per square meter right. Uh, this is in the unit of Newton per uh, meter square. So, if atmospheric pressure is 10 to the power 5 you can say pressure at this point is 10 to the power 5 whereas, pressure here is 10 to the power 5 minus 300 Newton per square meter. Now, at depth h below the upper meniscus the pressure will be P 1 plus rho g h this is using the principle of hydrostatics right. Uh, just a minute I will draw a diagram here just bear with me for a moment this is the situation here the pressure is P naught here the pressure is P 1 and the liquid column has a height h. So, what will be pressure at this point? If the pressure here is P 1 you go down a liquid column this is a static liquid. So, if you go down a liquid column up to a depth h pressure rises by rho g h. So, here pressure is P 1 at this point the pressure will be P 1 plus rho g h right. At this point I am taking the pressure to be P 2. So, P 2 is pressure at this point just above the lower surface uh, it will be equal to P 1 plus rho g h P 1 is P naught minus 300 this is rho density of water 10 to the power 3 kg per cubic meter g and h right. So, this simplifies to P 2 is equal to P naught minus 300 plus 10 raise to the power 4 h. Now, in the first part of the question the question says that this h is equal to 2 centimeter. 2 centimeter it is not meter 2 centimeter. So, if I substitute h is equal to 2 centimeter here I do get pressure at this point this is pressure just above the curved surface right. So, pressure at point 2 will be P naught minus 300 10 raise to the power 4 h is 2 centimeter converted into meter 0 0.02 it becomes P naught minus 100. 
basically this becomes 200 so it becomes p naught minus 100 so pressure at this point is p naught minus 100 p naught is the atmospheric pressure now uh, this is the diagram i am talking about i know the pressure here is p naught here it is p1 you have to add rho gs to get pressure here so we know the pressure at point 2 and pressure at point 2 is less than atmospheric pressure it is p naught minus 100 as we calculated there so pressure at this point is less than atmospheric pressure it simply means that the lower surface is going to remain like this this will be concave side and this will be convex side because here again the pressure is atmospheric pressure and at this point pressure is less than atmospheric pressure this tells you that lower surface is going to remain curved like this it will be concave down convex up right now the radius of curvature of this curved surface can be calculated again using this formula because we know that if this is a curved surface having radius of curvature r then pressure difference between this point and this point is 2 s by r whereas is the surface tension so 2 s by r is 100 because pressure difference between this point and this point is 100 so using this knowing the value of s we can calculate uh, r and this r turns out to be 1.5 millimeter so this surface lower surface has a radius of curvature of 1.5 millimeter mind you that radius of this tube is given to be 0.5 millimeter and the lower surface has a radius of curvature that is three times the radius of the tube what it means is this lower surface can be thought to be part of a sphere radius of which is 1.5 millimeter so that answers our first part now the second part says uh, what will be nature of this surface if this h is equal to 3 centimeter so again we will go back to the uh, this expression which gives us pressure at this point and we will sub the, uh, this expression and we will substitute 3 centimeter here if you put 3 centimeter here then this will be 300 300 it cancels out and the pressure is exactly atmospheric pressure so if the height of water column is 3 centimeter in that case the pressure at point 2 will be actually atmospheric pressure which means the lower surface has pressure equal to atmospheric pressure on both the sides so when pressure on this flexible surface is same on both the sides actually the surface is going to remain flat so in this particular case the lower surface will be flat and when there is a flat surface we will say that its radius of curvature is infinity so in second case the radius of curvature is infinity this is how it will look like if this height is 3 centimeter then this surface lower surface of the liquid will be flat it is atmospheric pressure here it is somewhat less than atmospheric pressure here then you add rho gh you get pressure at this point and pressure here is exactly equal to atmospheric pressure which is same as pressure here so that flexible surface on the lower end of the liquid column will remain flat the radius of curvature will be infinity in the third case when h is equal to 4 centimeter when h is 4 centimeter let us again do the calculation again using the previous result p2 is p2 is p naught minus 2 s by r which is p naught minus 300 plus rho g h in place of h i have written 0 0.04 meter that is 4 centimeter if i do the calculation pressure becomes p naught plus 100 that means in this case in this case when h is 4 centimeter pressure at this point is higher than atmospheric pressure by 100 unit right so when this side has higher pressure as compared to this side this liquid surface is going to be curved like this concave side will always have higher pressure uh, so therefore in this third case the lower meniscus or lower surface of the liquid will look like this it will get curved like this and what will be radius of curvature of this surface again we can calculate it by the knowledge that pressure difference between this point and this point is 2 s by r where r is the radius of curvature of this surface so let us do that calculation 2 s by r is 100 100 means 100 is the pressure difference between this this point and this point so on the two sides of the flexible surface we have a pressure difference of 100 so 2 s by r is 100 calculating that gives you r is equal to 1.5 millimeter so in this particular case in this particular case this lower radius of curvature is again 1.5 millimeter but the surface will remain like this 
in the second case the radius of curvature was 1.5 but the surface was concave down convex up and in all the cases in all the cases because uh, this wall extends way beyond the liquid surface so in all these cases the upper meniscus will be a hemisphere and contact angle will be 0 degree when this is hemisphere means this surface will have radius of curvature that is equal to radius of the tube so in all three cases this surface will have radius that is radius of curvature that is equal to radius of the tube but in this particular uh, this particular surface will have different different radii of curvature uh, for different height of water column now though it has not been asked in the question but you can uh, understand on your own what will happen if i go on pouring water into this tube if i increase the height of water column a little bit more what is going to happen from common sense we can understand that this surface is going to get more curved which means right now it is having radius of curvature of 1.5 millimeter if you increase the pressure here it will get slightly more curved it will become like this and at a uh, if you go on increasing the height of water column there will be a situation when this lower surface of water will also become hemispherical which means radius of curvature of this lower end will be same as the radius of curvature of the tube what will happen if you go on pouring water still now so if you pour little bit if you add little bit more water into this tube then water will start trickling down the tube uh, now the surface tension force cannot hold the uh, weight of the entire water column so if you pour water beyond this this is going to flow out of the tube the students i hope you have understood this question well so thank you for watching this video if you liked it do subscribe this channel hit the bell icon and keep waiting for the next video thank you